For over 90 years, Ripley's has been all about the curious. Ripley himself was called the greatest, you know, the biggest liar in the world. Part of his collecting was to prove to people that what he was drawing in newspapers, writing in books, was actually true. I told you there was shrunken heads in Ecuador, South America, here it is. I told you there was a two-headed cow, here it is. So it, it's actually showing and proving that he wasn't a liar is how it all started. So I'm a biologist and so I'm a big fan of our extreme biology area. We have the biggest snake in the whole world that ever existed, the titanoboy that kids actually get to crawl through and see their heartbeat and their lungs work. It is an amazing exhibit. There are things for all ages. There's tons of stuff going on and uh, I love seeing all these neat things that I have never even gotten to see as a scientist before that belong to the Ripley's collection. It's just a place where people can come and have fun and really explore weird things that they may have never seen before. And we've got Robert Ludlow here, animatronic, <laughs> state-of-the-art, life-size, everything is in detail. You know, when we talk about giants, we usually refer to the height, but look at the size of his hands, look at the size of his shoes. There's over a hundred Ripley artifacts, and probably that many things again that Science North has added to it. So a couple hundred different elements to this show. Matchstick Rolls Royce, made out of over a million matchsticks, is one of the most intense pieces of hobby art you could ever imagine. Six years in the waking. Willard Wiggins, microsculptures, unfathomable how somebody can make an owl carved, balanced on the eyelash, a human eyelash, set in the eye of a needle. You cannot see it without magnification. When you do see it, it's a beautiful sculpture. Megalodon Shark, most people are fascinated by sharks and to think that there was one bigger than a school bus out there at one time I think it's going to get people's attention. We've got Nelson Mandela made out of pennies, we've got Martin Luther King made out of stamps, we've even got Ben Franklin made out of thousands of computer keys here. And inside you actually get to see some of the things that Ben Franklin was uh, famous for. You know, the word bifocals, the words uh, swimming, lightning. We're delving behind the amazing in an educational and fun way to make science come to life. That was built by the Eel Engineering Company. And this is part of our new exhibit. 